This is Dr. Pachenik, and today I want to talk about uh, John Bolton, the Benedict Arnold of America. Now, why do I say that? A book came out that was written by Anonymous, and it's written about the Trump administration and how childish they are, how pure and how effective they are. In fact, John Bolton calls the president a 12-year-old, but doesn't know what his mental condition is. I happen to know John Bolton, and I think he's a sociopath, but as an intelligence operative, what I did was to create agitation propaganda. I purposely created a proposal for my own book, which will come out in a few weeks, which talks about the real Jack Ryan and the person who really implemented a lot of the coups and counter coups in this administration. Now I'm doing another coup. What I'm trying to do is to get John Bolton blown out of the water because he came in as an anonymous writer. Well, and how did I figure that out? Number one, the passages that came out and were written in the New York Times and the Washington Post said the following. Thanks to our great 9-11 situation, we have gone into now a puerile situation or self-destructive situation. In other words, what John had written and the only person who could write that was somebody deeply involved in 9-11. When I wrote my proposal and presented it, to Hachette, and I'll talk about Hachette in a minute, they turned me down immediately because they knew that the history of the real Jack Ryan was, was involved in breaking up the 9-11 coup. Now let me say to you how this came about. John Bolton's uh, figure and personality fits what we call in the intelligence world mice. M standing for money, I for ideology, C for cash or uh, for compromise, and E for ego. John needs the money. He's ideologically always been a neocon. C, he's always been compromised by someone or an institution, in this case, Yale, where he went to Yale and worked with uh, Bob Woodward and John Kerry, who are now on ABC News and NBC News. And the last one was ego. His ego is immense. Carl Ford, one of my intelligence operatives, said correctly that John needed to always suck up to the superior and always deprecate the, the bottom. Richard Armitage wanted to get rid of John Bolton. In short, all of us who worked with John Bolton knew he was ineffectual, self-aggrandizing, and a, much of a traitor. He was the one who said, we go to wars, we should go to Vietnam, but he himself refused to go to Vietnam because he was afraid of getting killed. He brought us into Afghanistan, brought us into Iraq, Syria, and all the other countries. Now, what does this really mean? This means, number one, that the agents or literary agents, in this case, it's Javelin, which is nothing more than a subsidiary of a media company called Omnicon, which you can trade or short, on the New York Stock Exchange, Omnicon is a publishing and publicity firm all over the world. More importantly, the agents went to none other than Hachette, which is where I went. And in fact, I got in touch with Michael Pietsch, who's the head of it, never called me back. I knew that. That was part of the agitprop. Then went down to Sean Desmond, who was the executive vice president and the one who had all kinds of neocon books in front of him, Condoleezza Rice, Charlie Krauthammer, etc. So I figured out that Hachette, which has and holds the division of uh, 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 Warner Books, which was taken over by Grand Central, and Grand Central then became part of 12, which is the real imprint in which John Bolton is writing in, has to be involved in, in this uh, treason. Now, why do I say Hachette? Because Hachette is a French company. It comes out of the 16th arrondissement and it works for the Le Deuxième Bureau, the second bureau in France. Let me say the following. Aldrich James, the spy who we caught in the CIA said, I know I'm a treason. I know I've committed spying, but I don't feel as if I am a spy. Let me say Pogo said, the enemy is us. On that note, good luck and good night.